Hey guys, Saturday here. Hope you're having a good weekend. And uh, this is your video report naturally for Saturday. I'm Al DeMarco, if you haven't figured that out by now. Uh, lots of stuff to go over here. A couple of free picks coming your way. I'm going to take a look at the Milwaukee, St. Louis, Detroit, Seattle contests for you. Also, another money saving discount coupon code that'll save you money off your total purchase today. Also, want to talk about a couple of hot handicappers as well. As for me, last night, another 15 dime best bet winner. Uh, that one, of course, being the Colorado Rockies. Boy, it was a scary ninth inning though six nothing lead and it finished six five with the uh, tying run at the plate so that was certainly a scary finish there but the Rockies uh, bullpen finally held on uh, 15 dime uh, baseball plays of course these are my strongest releases I've never had anything bigger than that in my career 15 dime play and as I always point out you know 15 dimes may not sound like a lot when guys have thousand star plays 50 dime plays 100 dime plays etc but you always have to put it in relation to what the scale of their ratings are for a particular handicapper. And for me, 99% of my plays are rated between 5 and 15 dimes. So again, uh, that 15 dime play last time of the Rockies was just as big as that 15 dime winner I gave you on Thursday night in the NBA playoffs on the Mavericks and those 15 dime plays in the NBA the past two years, 25, 11, and 2, including 29 and 2 this season alone. 15 dime best bet today, my only play for Saturday's card, the only game I really Really fell in love with. It's the Mets Pirates. It's a practical pick 'em game tonight in Pittsburgh. And uh, I've won five of my last seven 15 dime plays in baseball. So again, it matches my strongest release ever on the diamond. That's what I've got going tonight. A couple other handicappers you might want to consider. Uh, Jeff Fenton who's one of the original handicappers in this company uh, from its inception like seven and a half years ago. Uh, nice guy. Cocky son of a bitch. <laughs> I mean, calls himself the big play specialist. <laughs> If you could only hear him when he talks about that, it's funny. But, um, hey, look, as long as he keeps one in the big plays, I don't care what the hell he calls himself, you know, and I'm probably his customers don't either. Call him late to dinner. Who cares? Uh, today, he has his highest rated play of the baseball season. It is a 75-dime release. Um, FYI, he's won four straight 30-dime plays, including the Oakland A's last night, and this play is two and a half times stronger, so you might want to check uh, Jeff out and his ego. Um Chuck O'Brien uh, has been the winningest handicapper at this site uh, over the past year in baseball. A uh, net profit of 625 dimes. And, you know, that's net profit after losses, after the big, being subtracted out. So if you had been betting just $10 per unit he had released, you have cleared over $6,000 in the past year. Tonight, he has his uh, second biggest play of the season. It is his 60-dime mismatch of the year. He says his side wins by four runs or more. 60-dime uh, play, number two in a row, in fact. He just won one on Wednesday night with Texas at home, 7-3 to three in double revenge against the Tigers. This play is every bit as easy, every bit as strong. 60 dime play for him, 50% stronger than the four straight uh, 40 dime winners he's given you this week, including the Red Sox over Toronto last night. So that's another guy. And of course, Anthony Red, the hottest handicapper here in the past week at the site. Did he have a losing night last night? Yes, he did. He went one and two. But over the past eight days, he's 12 and four overall. Basketball and baseball combined, 371 dimes net profit. 50 dime play today in baseball, just as strong as the 50 dime play he had in the NBA on Thursday night on the Mavericks. So, Anthony, another guy you might want to consider. As for your money saving discount coupon code, guys, it's June 11. And, well, you're going to get 11% discount off your total purchase today simply by using that discount code. When prompted, June 11. J-U-N-E and the number 11, no space between June or the number 11, June 11. And as I always specify, you know, this type of coupon is different than the money, the dollar off coupons. It's more valuable, but you have to use it the right way, guys. This gets you 11% off your total purchase. So again, for those of you that are newcomers, you want to put everything in your shopping cart at one time. You want to make up your mind what you're going to buy, whether it's, uh, you know, you don't have to buy my plays, but I'm just using an example. Let's say you're buying Jeff Benton's play, uh, you're buying Chuck O'Brien's play, you want to buy Chris Jordan's uh, one-month package. You put everything together in your shopping cart at once, then 11% is taken off the bottom line, your total purchases. But you've got to do it all at once. You can't make a buy now and come back four hours from now and use the coupon again. So again, make sure you know what's in your shopping cart. 11% off your total purchase in honor of today being June 11. It's that easy. Save the money. Good luck, everybody. Now, let's get to your free picks. Uh, I'm going to go with the Brewers tonight and Zach Greinke. 
Uh, Granky 3-0 and in four home starts. You know, he is just rounding into form in his last three outings. Uh, his stretch against Florida, Cincinnati, and Washington he has a 3.15 earned run average. The Brewers have won each of his last six starts. They've really given him some great run support this season as well. Uh, the team just always seemingly scoring behind him, averaging uh, seven and a quarter runs every nine innings that he's out there so far this season. And Greinke, you know, against St. Louis when pitching uh, in that I-70 series, I think they used to, or was it the I... Yeah, I think, I can't remember, I can't remember. I've driven the road, St. Louis to Kansas City. They used to have a funny name for it, an interleague play between the Royals and the Cardinals. Uh, but, you know, in those interleague outings, uh, Granke won both of uh, his last two starts against the Cardinals. Um, 12, uh, a 1.20 earned run average in those two outings as well. So I'm going to go with them today, the Brewers. Uh, the team last night uh, won 8 nothing in the series opener. Of course, if they sweep the season series, you know, uh, the weekend series, the NL Central lead is at stake here. Um, what else can I tell you about this game? Uh, 8 nothing last night. The Brewers are 23-9. and That's the best major league record at home this year, winning 13 of their last 16 at Miller Park. Um you know, uh, Chris Carpenter going for St. Louis. Chris Carpenter have been money in the bank for the Cardinals the past couple of years, not this year. They have won only four of his 13 starts. He is 1-4 uh, and four in seven road starts with an earn run average of 5.32 and 0-3 uh, and with a 4.15 earn run average in his last five starts overall. Um, last two games he started, he's given up uh, 16 runs and 18, eight innings against the Brewers. Crew. So I'm going to go with Milwaukee. Pretty cheap price, too, when you think about it. The Brewers... Only like 115, 120, depending on where you shop. I, I mean, that's a great price. Uh, your other free play, I'm going to look for Detroit to bounce back against Seattle last night. The Mariners have certainly had their number this year, 4-1 and one at Comerica Park. But I like the Tigers still to bounce back despite last night's 3-2 loss. They still have won 9 of their last 12. And I know the Mariners have won 17 of their last 25 games, but it's not exactly like this team is an offensive juggernaut. You know what I mean? So I'm going to go with them. Uh, to uh, win tonight and rebound from last night's loss. And they're a pretty cheap price, too. The Tigers only won 15 in that one. So, again, I'm going to take Detroit, and I'm going to take the Milwaukee Brewers as your two free plays for today. Good luck, everybody. And I'll catch you again on Sunday as the NBA playoffs resume with game number six in Miami.